Hi, I'm Richard from My Motor Home. Today we're with Webasto Products and talking to Swami, who's in charge of all things technical here. We're putting a Webasto Airtop diesel heater into Project Poly, and before we get underway with that, we want to show you all the components of the kit and some of the options available. Swami, thank you for having us. Good no, to, no good to be here. You. Thank you. A couple of quick questions for you. Firstly, the kit that we're installing today how difficult is it for the average person to do this? Is it something they would easily or confidently tackle or should they really be getting an expert to install it? Our 2 kilowatt heater, the Airtop 2000 ST, comes as a prefabricated kit in one or two outlets and they're designed ready to install. So it's something that a confident DIY person could undertake? Our customers are pretty versatile and put the heater in. If they do need clarification, just give us a call and we'll help them out through the installation. Sam is now preparing the vehicle, so he's cutting the 140 mil hole where we've decided to put the heater in and I'm going to prepare the heater or install back into the vehicle. First thing, this is the rubber gasket that is required to go on the heater. This is our floor mount bracket. Ten mil socket. You've got this wiring that goes to your fuel pump. It has to be slithered in in the slot that is provided in this combustion air tube. We'll grab the combustion air tube, we'll just cut a little V. With the hose clamp, we insert that into the combustion air. Once we've put together the combustion air tube, we've got to ensure that the cable for the fuel pump is skewered, not rubbing on the clamp. Make sure all the fuel line clamps, the exhaust clamp and the combustion air clamp, they are properly tight and secure, otherwise you could have gas or fumes going back into the cabin. The black tube goes into the black connector on the heater and the stainless steel exhaust pipe goes onto the aluminium connection on the heater. So that's ready. Next I'll just prepare the fuel system. So this is the new DP 40.2 fuel pump which is a lot quieter. Important thing is you've got to follow the arrow as a direction of flow, so that should be going to your heater and this is your fuel tank. Another new feature in the new kit will be the fuel pump bracket, which is now is a rubber mount. So this also helps with the sound um, separation of the fuel pump. So that goes on. That's your fuel in from your fuel tank and that's your fuel out to your heater. That's your main harness. It's got an oval plug. Plugs into your heater. Very carefully it goes pushes into the ECU and it's got a little lock on the top. Make sure that's home. There's a rubber grommet that goes to with the cover on so it ensures that the harness doesn't get damaged. With the controllers we've got two different options where it can be used. This is what we have been using last so many years and this is the new digital controller. This digital controller has got a feature to program your heater three times in a day and 21 times in a 
weak. In harness, red, battery positive, brown, battery negative, and you've got two fuses. One is a 15 amp and one is a 1 amp. The 15 amp is for the heater and 1 amp is for the digital controller. You've got two plugs here. One says potentiometer and the other says telestart thermal core. For a normal rotary dial switch, it will connect to the potentiometer. For the digital controller, it will connect to the telestart thermal core. They're two black wires. They go and connect to the fuel pump harness. The fuel pump harness is supplied in the kit. So this is the plug for the new um, DP40 pump. This side will connect to these two wires here and polarity doesn't matter. It's very important to apply silicon so you don't have any dust or water ingress back into the cap. Yep, that's good. That's better. So the exhaust and the mushroom peel bees away from each other. So we need a hole. I'll just turn it on at the moment. Northeast. Heat is mounted properly, no water or dust going in the vehicle. 